Hello everyone, welcome to another peaceful night in Somniel. I am Mecha, here to play some real short Fire Emblem Engage for you. Along with me here is, of course, Original Raisins. How are you doing? Doing excellently this evening, apparently it is for you in the Somniel. Yeah, there's, so, is there a distinction, distinction between you evening to... and night? Is there? Um, I think there is. There's, there's actually one difference between like evening and night, but... You don't, you don't have it yet. You don't have it yet. <laughs> oh, no, I think for fishes, sometimes it makes a difference, I think. Because like different fishes you can catch at different times, but... I don't know, do oh, you still fish true, you're when right. you're playing? Oh, no, no, dude. I tried that once and I was, like, so embarrassed at how bad I was at it. I'm like, I'm never touching this again. <laughs> I, I do it because I can't leave this game all enough alone, but... Yeah, I see what you mean. It's very weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, what we are going to do today is not fishing, though. We're going to check out the flea market, which has opened up. I had no idea this feature existed in the game at all. I think I saw the words flea mentioned, flea market mentioned once at some point. And I just assumed they were talking about something hypothetical, but it's actually in the game. So we're going to check that out. Mm -hmm. And after that, it's paralog day, finally. I'm going to check out the paralogs. Haven't prepped at all. Haven't looked at them at all. Haven't even looked at the maps. Just going in blindly because I've been told that that would make for an amusing reaction. I'm a little scared, but some people say they enjoy seeing the preparations as well, so you're in for a at least 10 minute video right now. But for now, let's do t Flea Market. Have you checked this out, Raisins? Yeah, I've checked it out. It was like, it, it, it was pretty cool. I haven't bought a whole lot from it, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. But let's admit, open it up and see. Yeah, I'm, I gotta admit, I'm a little low on gold. I don't really want to spend anything on something I don't need, but let's see what it, what it offers. Oh, no one is tending this store, but you can shop. So we just take everything? All right. <laughs> take the, it. <laughs> yeah, no. The flea market offers items you might not find in regular shops. Oh, the selection changes. Okay. Oh, so it's Amy's Bargains? Interesting. Oh, kind of like that, I guess. Special items mm -hmm. that you just don't see. Well, I'm never buying these right now because I don't need these for anything. But I'm glad I can buy this instead of using like 20,000 I have. Interesting. <laughs> Buy so. the horse manure. Oh, so this is how you like, build supports most efficiently, I guess. And this is just for forging. Okay. I guess so. That's short. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> Not buying anything benchmark. right now. It's like, oh, it's like okay. Right? Yeah. So. It's it's nice that you can give gifts to other people to build support with a Leer. But I found that the hardest supports to build are the ones between two characters that are not a Leer. So this is not going to help me very much in that regard. But hey, I'm glad, I'm glad it's here, I guess. Mm. The last thing I wanted to uh, ask about in Somniel was actually Sami, because you said you oh, got yeah. into the max like happiness or affection or whatever. Yes. So if you could please open up the ally notebook. All right. And on the first page, it'll be that. So if you hit left twice, you should be at Sami's first page. Okay. And then there we go. The so watchdog. Can see his details. Okay. The watchdog of Somniel. When it sees a leer, it cheerfully chases after its old friends with Queen Lamera. Personality, gentle spirits, <laughs> dislikes how everyone it's ever known up until now goes away eventually. <laughs> so sad. Wow. Is that supposed I to be the opposite of like what a real dog feels? Because they live shorter than humans most of the time. I guess so. Yeah, it's true. Because <laughs> oh. he just he just lives forever. I love the stamp right. and the little picture. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've been I've been dutifully petting and feeding the dog every single time not just for the bond fragments i swear i i've <laughs> i it's like the the brooklyn 99 quote where it's like i've only known his dog for like a week but now if anything happened to it i would do something and i would do something i don't know if i can say mm -hmm. this yet because youtube monetizations are weird but if you've seen brooklyn 99 you know the reference so mm -hmm. there you go that's my feelings on Sami right now anyhow um is that it for somnio because i think for my part that is that is it that is all i need to do right now yeah, I think that's fair, to be honest. All right, then let's get to the map. To the map, to the map, uh, different button. Still not used to the X and plus switch, by the way, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. All right. I got all my... Still have all six of the relay tickets, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to do with those. I think I, I know what to do with those, but I'm not, I don't want to check it out. I can't yeah. be bothered. Maybe sometime I'll check it out, like, once. Uh, I was going to say, I have made, like, generic preparations, like, gave people items that I think they might be useful and switch emblem rings around a little bit. But I can't say that... Oh, I can use the fast travel here, probably. Um, there was, like, a thing I could do here. Uh, yeah, it is X on the screen, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, yeah. not on the screen, but... Of course, yeah, there, there you go. go. Uh, was it... I think it's uh, Arena of the Gods, where we gotta go. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I don't know anything about the paralogs in this game, other than they, they reference old maps, and that they're apparently pretty tough. Uh, the base classes level suggested is very high, 
So, I don't know what I'm getting into, but they have some significance to the emblem rings. I'm assuming there's one for each of them. I'm assuming that Lucina's not special enough to have the only one in the game. I know the Ike and Lin ones are already there, but the Lucina one was the first one to open up, so we're gonna check that out. Let's see. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. A little scared. Right. It's It's been a while since we've done a game and done Paralogue Day, hasn't mm -hmm. it? So. Yeah, I think this, the tradition started with um, Awakening, and then we didn't have it for Radiant Dawn. Or Path what of Radiance. Is this place, Lucina? <laughs> yeah, or Thracia, or Epi-6. This appears very similar to Arena Ferox. Most curious. Ferox? That's a place from your world, right? Yes. Ferox is a kingdom divided by East and West, with a militaristic Khan overseeing each. Every so many years, a fighting tournament is held to determine which Khan will rule them all. Arena Ferox is where I cross swords with my father. He taught you swordsmanship, yes? It must have been an interesting, if fierce, bout. Yes, it was a hard fight. He had no idea who I was and held nothing back. He'd trained me well, but that fight was when I first saw just how strong my father really was. That must be precisely why this familiar place was chosen as a trial ground. Trial ground? What does that mean? We each feel the extraordinary power here. Tell me what it feels like deep down. It's almost like I'm sensing your power, but also like you're far away. Well then, draw your weapon. Fight me. If you pass the trial, our bond will grow stronger. What? With a stronger bond, you will be able to draw upon more of my power as an emblem. I hope I can learn as much in this arena as you did. That's good to hear. However... It's going to require more than hope for you to win this battle. You're going to be surprised if you think I'm only bringing hope to this fight. That's the spirit. All right, we fight Lucina. Didn't expect that one. That's right, yeah. Got a fighter. Mm. Well, we've done that before together, so I'm sure we can do it again. The last time I had Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Robin. <laughs> Cause, yeah, I remember going through this cutscene. She's like, "Yeah, my father, my father beat me here." I'm like, mm, "Pretty sure that was Frederick." <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, well, at least it's not many enemies. I, I'm sure they'll be hella tough, but oh, that's a lot of HP. Take a look. Yo, it's a fabrication. That makes sense. Oh, that's right. I saw that in the trailers. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I didn't remember that. Yeah. Okay. So, forty attack. We've survived bigger attacks, so I think we can take this. I have that. Uh, Mage with Thunder. I'm gonna check the boss last to keep it intense. So these are just like, yeah, they're just generics. This one isn't even promoted. Okay, we might be fine here. Just gonna depend on like how many of them move, as always. All right, Lucy, now what you got? Okay. All right, you got that. How cool, how cool. Uh, I did actually make Alir get S rank with Lucina, <laughs> partially because I wanted this weapon oh, and now no. she's using it against me. I'm <laughs> assuming she always has this though, even if you don't do that. Yeah, yeah, she just always has it. Okay, good. I didn't screw myself over with that one. Okay. Uh, only 19 speed with that. And this is a little more. This is 23. Okay, I think I have some units that can survive that. Pretty sure. Well, let's see how... Let's see. What do I have to do to win? Is it just kill Lucina? Okay, so I don't have to kill everything if I don't want to. I'll use the first turn to feel things out, how many of them are going to move. I'm definitely going to bait these two turn one no matter what. But then we'll see how many of them move. If they all move, I'm going hard for Lucina. She only has one health bar, though, so that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, but, oh. Deployment slots are more limited than ever, I see. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping to deploy they, some old faces, but... Uh, they really... They really they, they went were, in for it. Yeah. Really accurate in the reference to this map, huh? Yeah, like, they go. sure were. <laughs> uh, no terrain, so that makes me feel like I need to leave off Zelkov here, because that's his specialty. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah. Um, I want to bring Marin. Marin seems good. I forged them a silver dagger plus two. That might help out. Hmm. I guess you should think about like who's taking on which person here. Uh, I I'm see you've discovered the, the plus two silver dagger forge as well. Yeah. I, eventually, I want to discover the plus five, but uh, this is all I could do for now without spending unreasonable amounts of gold. Okay. So, okay. We have another thing to do, actually. Uh, I want to try oh. warrior ATA. Because I gave her Axe Ooh. Power and mm -hmm. um, from from Ike, or Axe, what's it called? Axe Proficiency? What do you want to yeah, call it? Yeah. And this will let her, like, dual attack and stuff, which I think will be fun. She'll lose the covert bonus from, like, the massive range lane against her, but it'll still be fun. 
So I'm gonna try that. Uh, and Warrior is just a good class in general, anyway, right? So I think so. Let's try it out. I mean, I have plenty of those like second seals to change her back anyway, so it should yeah. be fine. Oh, and B rank bows. Yeah, no, that's so good. That's <laughs> so good, actually. Is it? Oh, she's gonna yeah. go from S rank to B rank, but you sure? Well, sure. All the other warriors I've had have been like kicking butt. And they only have C rank bows. I'm yeah. like, man, I have no options. But B rank bows is actually a massive improvement. Yeah, we'll see how much it helps her. Here we go. We lose a bunch of decks and luck, but it actually gained speed out of it. Didn't expect that one. Yeah. And Game it shows like... off our abs finally. We get abs ATA. We get abs ATA, yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, gave her silver bow from, uh, I think, uh, what's his name? Fogato came with it. I also put reposition on my flyers. That might be helpful. Although maybe mm -hmm. not in this one where the action economy is going to be super tight. Uh, let's see. So he doesn't have Ember Ring right now. So I only have uh, Ike on Diamonds and uh, ATA Lin right now. So I guess I'm gonna give him like a, a generic ring then. Well, I already said Lucina was on the yeah, road, but now I don't even have her. <laughs> uh, <you can> take <laughs> this one then, I guess. Although, nah, this is probably okay. Maybe I want like her to have. Oh, the Iron Ring is pretty good too. That'll be fine. You yeah. have the Chris Ring, I think. Strength defense is like, yeah. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's try this out. Not much of harm in trying. Although, I love all uh, these uh, these like gold online tiles right at the edge of Lucina's range. Like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder yeah. what people did there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have Diamonds. Diamonds has Ike, so he should be like real buff. I wonder if I should engage turn one for this once, because uh, I do want to try out Diamonds Ike quite a bit, but I'm also scared. I guess it's going to be just experimenting here. Maybe I don't need two flyers. Flyers might not be that good here. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Maybe sailing would be better than a flyer. Alternative. I mean, like, maybe one of, like... Yeah, either, like, Saline or one of, like, Tamara or a Pennat, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking Saline just because I want to have more ranged attacks and more ways to take care of the armored enemies. I do have the armor's mm -hmm. lair, and I also have Ivy. I'm wondering, is Chloe useful in this map at all? I feel like she might not be, because... She... Yeah, like, what would she, like, attack a mage, maybe? But... Yeah. I feel like the mages are the easiest part of this map so far. Like, just kind of looking at it briefly. Possibly. They don't really seem that threatening. They only have five speed. They died to everything. These have four speed. What, wow. What about the other one? Because the other one's promoted. Oh, <laughs> six speed. What a difference. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, she just wouldn't take much damage, I guess. Can we Oko these somehow? Because, okay, it's 37 to Oko. You don't reach that. Oh, wow, she actually she ooh, almost gets almost there. Does. Wow. Oh, with Alir, she does. Yeah, I suppose she does. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to try Saline over Chloe for now. It's the first time I've benched Chloe in so long. Let's hope that works out. Give it a rescue staff as well. And I suppose. Hmm. No, she has the. She should have the Azel ring right now. I think. Um, what's her name? Saline. Uh, Azel ring is on Ivy. Yeah, I guess that's fine too. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's, that's fine. Yeah. Let's get into it. Should be good to go. Yeah. Don't hold back. Strengthen our bond. Fight with everything you've got. Will do. I don't got too much because I took away my rings. Mm. All right, so I'm highlighting all these goobers just to see what they do. I think if like if it's like awakening where they don't move right away, I think it won't be so bad. But uh, if they do, boy oh boy, will this be interesting? Understood. Oh, the awakening music. That's great. All right, so I guess I should use my strongest weapon here. I have 16 speed. How much you got again? Okay, 13. So if I max out my speed. Nah, that won't be enough anyway. Maybe we should use Marin, because Marin does double. It. Well, yeah. maybe Marin should be should be countering the other one. Mm. Maybe? Let's mm. see. ATS 17. So we have a... Uh, 13. Ooh. Yeah. Celine does it, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah, she takes a hit, but I mean, you know. Yeah, well, they only have 40 attack, you know, so Celine will survive with a comfortable, like, 2 HP. <laughs> with a comfortable 5 HP, yeah. <laughs> which will be, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. For sure. Okay, let's just try oh. that out. Yeah, watch her dodge. She'll be fine. Yeah, um, if we put Diamond here and I put Elyr in between them, that'll be a nice. Uh, that'll be nice. Let's just use the axe, I guess, because it does more damage. I, I'm really feeling Marin, to be honest, because, you know, doubling good. Let's try out our dagger. 
All right. And then I don't think any personals here matter really. No mistakes. So I guess we just put ourselves in a giant ball. I don't remember seeing any free staffs or anything like that. So let's just try this. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Oh. And by the way, though, I. Oh, yeah. Soundtrack mm -hmm. incoming. Yeah. Though I do enjoy the warrior class, uh, the Lin Ring's Astral Storm is going to be like significantly shorter range. Yeah. As a result of having it equipped. It's what, like 10 or 5 range now? And yeah, it's only. It's, well, it's only 10 range. In this battle, only 10. I think I'll be enough. Okay, well, Marin good. That was cool, was it not? <laughs> Marin good. Marin good. All right, easy gold. Oh, okay, that's that's doable. Okay, I'm gonna be chicken here and bait out the next two separately because I could go up to them. Oh, actually, I could be proactive here and is attack with Marin here. <laughs> uh, that is not an Oko though, so we need some healing here. Okay, how close are we to open? Not quite close, right? We need five more. I don't think I can provide that. Actually, no, I can't engage with Alir. Um, yeah, I can't do mm -hmm. that. ATA. Pretty sure I can't provide any kind of support there for them. I also got DM onto level five, so they do have soul finally. It's the thing I've been pining for for ages. Hmm. Elf Thunder. This is three range, so I guess if I want to counter that, I have to use Irmar Longbow or something else. I guess we can go for like a, a Speed Take, or we have to engage to use Speed Taker, don't we? Because we didn't inherit it. Yeah, uh, actually, we just have it, so. Do we? Yeah. Oh, because we're. It's like the as same long skill. as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. it's the same skill. Okay, in that case, I'm going to steal this guy's speed and then trade it to a Longbow to counter the Thunder guy, I guess. Excellent. So that's. Oh. <laughs> Iron Axe Etienne. Here yeah, I'll, I'll just trade it over afterwards, right? Good Shrek. I can still do more. Got him. Wah. Holy crap, abs Etienne. Yeah, finally. Speed plus three. So now suddenly we have 19 speed. So we can like... Oh, it actually would give her the Al Cryptity something, something on some enemies probably. Like maybe we can kill mm -hmm. these guys before they do that thing. That's another thing skill oh, that yeah. she has, right? How much speed does she the need? Alacrity. Nine or more? Yeah. She's got it for sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think we'll get it on Lucina, but maybe we can counter Lucina at least with her. Okay, we need to heal Saline probably, and then have Saline heal Marin, and Marin counters the mage. I guess it's going to be the best course of action here. Mm -hmm. Well, the other mage has Thoron, so it's going to be kind of tricky to do that. What countering him? Yeah. Well, he doesn't Oko Marin, so and like I can't think of an alternative to that doing that. I guess like hand axe. On Diamond and well, it's like, like a soul. Like... Well, the, the issue. Oh wait, is it three? Range? Is that Thoron has three range? Oh, so... it also has three yeah. range. I didn't think of that. Well, I guess I just attack him then and just heal on attack. That's the only other way. If I mm -hmm. thought of that though, I might have used ATA instead for that guy, but it's fine. Uh, yeah. Nah, guess... fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, hopefully I can heal Marin to full. Uh, with this or full enough. That's thirty-one. Ooh. Might have uh, to do a little convoying here. Can't reach. Yeah, I might have to do a little convoy trick in here. But if I do that, I think I, I think I have another mending convoy. It should be okay. I do not. In oh, that case, um, you can one? trade. You can trade convoy the mend, and then you can convoy trade the mend. With D so like Diamond could trade I convoy have two the mend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh right. Uh, wait, she already moves. Okay. Yeah. So you mean like what? this, right? Yeah, trade convoy the mend. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Then Alir could convoy trade, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so we'll hold on to this for me for a moment. Convoy the mend. Advanced fire emblem techniques right now. All right. Take the mend out. The only time you're allowed to thrace your trade. <laughs> yeah, the only way to do it. It's a really useful technique, though. Uh, you're probably not going to need this this battle. All right. Let's go here. Hopefully that is enough, though. Saline, mend. That should be enough. That's full health. And next to we can do another heal. The enormous stress. I still love that. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, watch this crit. Marin is so good. I haven't even... Oh, nice. Nice dodge. And a dodge. I haven't even thought of like what skills I want to inherit with that fat 1500 SP. That's pretty yeah, juicy. Have a Deep of it. All right. Oh, did I trade the longbow? No, right. I guess I didn't. Oh, we totally forgot. Yeah, we totally forgot. Yeah. 
We said we were going to do that and we just didn't. Let's see how relevant that is. With only these two moving, I don't think I'm going to care. I don't think I care enough to rewind it. Because, okay, if we leave those on for a minute. Uh, I think that may just highlight it. Yeah, okay, this is perfect. Okay, so Saline right now can fry one of the Armor Knights, I'm sure. Easy peasy. So that's taken care of. Destroyed Ivy the other one or no? I really want to do this with Marin. That'd be so good. Ambitious. Yeah. And then you said Ivy? Can Ivy... Oh, she's like just short. Yeah. But it's okay. Does, um... We have Leaven Sword as well. Oh, not quite. Well, we have... No, we don't have the Dual Strike anymore, I guess. Because yeah, Lucina has no betrayed elder. us. <laughs> yeah, no. And we need to... Do we... Do we have Etia like just attacking them or no? Well, I guess if we... Ah, oh, Diamant is going to be so useless here. Uh, if we... Oh, oh, we can use a Leer, maybe, to kill the mage a little bit. Yeah, that works. That'll work, actually, yeah. Yeah, a Leer kills the mage. Ivy weakens the armor knight. We steal speed with... Um, what's her face? ATA. And then we're good, I think. I think so as well, yeah. And even if it like gets kind of dicey, we just summon the doubles. Yeah, we've been double. We we've been dodging everything, so it should be okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, let's go! Finally. Let's go a Leer. Oh no, magic bad level. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, his magic is also kind of trash. It's just the strength is so much worse. Okay. Uh, now that we've done that, let's do Ivy here. Mm -hmm. The wind plus one here. We'll just get the one percent crit. Watch it. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. It's fine either way. All right. I do wonder if baiting that next guy, or like fighting him with uh, Marin, will lead to more enemies moving than otherwise. But it's fine. It'll make it more fun. Take that one out. What we really have to worry about is when Lucina moves and like people can't get out of her range or something like that. Yeah, it's like whoa. Uh oh, whoa. it's a bit sus. Sussibaka. Alright, because let's. This is fine. This is not a range of Lucina, so we can take you out. We'll probably take some damage, but it's fine. Oh, never mind. Marin's good. <laughs> never mind. The merits of Marin. Good. Oh, she does have the fox steal. You're right. Okay. Uh, steal his last point of speed here. Uh, yeah, if we had a trade, we could go here, but we don't really. Mm -hmm. Do we, like, trade the hammer from Diamond or no? Or we just kill, I think. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure she kills without the help of Diamonds. Although, oh, looking, looking dicey, actually. Yeah, it's Etsy we're talking about here. Oh, wait, not even close. Hold up. Um, yeah, that's an Iron Axe, though. What if we use my Forged Bow or something? That might help. That's better. Oh, much better. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Speed Taker. Looks like I broke him. <laughs> All right, how much speed we got now? All right, we got 22. So at least Lucina doesn't double her anymore. Let's move Diamond. I'm not going to move in range of Lucina just yet. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens next. You move. Lucina doesn't move. We're going to... Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to steal this guy's speed We're going to add too. a yellow tile for someone else. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if... If AT survives, that could be a really good first attack. Um, although... Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be bad, because then she's right there for all the chain attacks too. So maybe that would be good. Yeah, she right. just starts in range. Mm hmm Okay. Let's see. We have to be cowardly about this. I guess we can break this. This is break? Yeah, this does break. Okay, perfect. Let's do that guy's shit too. And I, and I still have the... I can use Ike to bait as well if I want to. Then he's, in, then he's also in dual strike range. That wouldn't be mm -hmm. terrible either. I just use him maybe? Just like engage him? Great ether? Yeah, he would be... I'm surprised we haven't put a hand axe on Demont yet. Yeah, but... I probably should, shouldn't I? At some point. Uh, the doubles are also kind of fine, because even if she bows a double, then we can just equip the longbow in Etia, and she's still fighting chain attack. Yeah. Uh, you think we should, like... Uh, if we do if we do Great E3, he doesn't counter either way, right? So it wouldn't matter too much. He, well, he would counter the Parthia, because the Great Ether hits everybody within two squares. Yeah, and it works right away, right? So if we just put him here in Great Ether, he's going to be probably be sturdy enough to survive. He has 16 defense. Uh, that looks good, right? He's got plus five as well from like all that things. He has some Ike bonds as well for some plus defense. He would probably yeah. live, right? Um, Should be good. He doesn't get doubled, does he? He has 16, so no. Not with Parthia at least. Let's try it out. We have like all our things left anyway. 
engage you. Emblem, engage. Mm -hmm. It's like we want him to get engage. If, 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 if he got doubled, that'd be fine, right? Wouldn't it be better if he got doubled? Uh, oh, it's... Then we take more damage with Great so Ether, right? So the whole, like... Yeah, we take damage, but the, ta take, the taking damage doesn't really matter. It's the how much damage you deal is how much damage you heal. Yeah, but if you... So uh, af after... What up? I was thinking, like... Uh, I can't check it really yet. Can I check it anymore? Uh, let me look at it again. Uh, attack a two space area, heal HP. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter how much damage they. Okay, so it's not like. Okay, never mind. You're right. You're completely correct. It's not like. Yeah. Return. Yeah. It's, I. It's I, not a counter I misinterpreted it that way, like for several chapters as well. <laughs> <laughs> Chat screaming at you. Okay, I'll let's start this. No. Greatest of ether. All right, Marin here. All right. Uh, don't forget to kill that guy. With, uh, I guess ATA. And then we can't really do the dual strike thing. I guess maybe we can kill it with Ivy instead. Just forget about the speed taker, basically. Just get the kill. She needs some love. Exactly. Yeah, she does. She needs a lot of love, I think. That girl's depressed as hell. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's see what happens, right? Do we... Yeah. I was going to suggest just, like, summoning the doubles. Or su the, summoning the doubles. Oh. With the ATA. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, just for chain attacks, but I think maybe this is actually Lord. better. Ah, uh, I thought that might happen. That's okay. Mm. Oh, what? Out of my way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Green, but where is this? Take this. It's damage. Yeah. Yeah. Big damage. Take her out. Yeah, I hope so. Um. So she got 19. Okay, she doubles, I think. The right thing. Uh, wait. Do we not double? 22. Oh, I guess you don't double. Well, I guess we could have used one more speed then, because then we would have had 24. Hmm. Well then, let's see if that's with. Let's see if we need that or not. Uh, right now you have to park the equip. That's probably kind of a new move, because now it's blacker. We can counterattack in melee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess it's okay to start with, because it opens up like all the ranged options. Uh, turn yeah, the... it does, totally. We could do open up all the close range options, but unfortunately he doesn't do damage at close range mm. and dies too. It seems like one of these is like perfectly the terrible. Oops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's try this. He's not in a backup class. He's not going to get any dual strikes. Oh, I forgot to move uh, Atheist Longbow to the top. Has no openings. I don't see how I could hit you, no matter where I strike. Doubt will only dull your attacks. Trust in yourself, and come at me with everything. Understood. Here I come. Okay, so that's two things to improve if I have to rewind anyway. I feel like she has enough HP to or like, little enough HP to where I can kill right away. Let's see this. Uh, let's see a good kill here, probably. Oh, she kills the overkills. Maybe someone weaker? How much does Ivy do? Not as much. <laughs> Not nearly as yeah, much. Yeah, no. Not even close, in fact. Oh, wow. It's like kind of really not great, huh? She doesn't um, have the Lumbo on her. That's why I forgot. Okay. Uh, Saline. Also doesn't kill. I think her res is just really high. What res she got, girl? Casual 21 res. Okay, that's understandable. I mean, if the magic attacks are always going to combo out to be like something sad, then, you know, we may as well, right? Yeah, I guess what we can do is like Thunder with one and then kill with Ivy. Mm -hmm. And that would... I'm not even sure that adds up. How much did I do with Thunder? Like six? Six is not... It's three. Mm -hmm. uh, next to there would work. I'd get countered, but I think she lives a hit. Yeah, she If there is, like, hit. something to improve, it might be, like, Alir trading a Hand Axe over to Diamond, because two Chain Attacks, I think, would be enough to make one of these mages kill. Uh, Two Chain Attacks. Well, we also because... need... Um, ATA to train attack then to get the, get the longbow or something. We could move well, her forward. No. Yeah, what? Go ahead. Because what would happen is if we traded the hand axe to Diamant, then Alir would get a chain attack, and then whichever mage we use would also get a chain attack. Oh, you mean like before Alir attacks? That makes sense. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's try to. Let's just take a hit for no reason because I screwed up my inventory's idea first, and then we'll see if we have to rewind. All right. Oh, that works. <laughs> a 
Nice one, Sydney. Nice as well. Okay. Level 9. Still getting stats. First, the first time you've ever popped Ignis on this map, I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, now might be a good time for her so she can start uh, doing Emblem dual engaged. strikes. Uh, chain attacks. Chain attacks. Trust me. I know this game. Castle Storm. Uh, cheesy crits. Or just take the might. Yo. <laughs> She's so good. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and actually check what the damage is with regular silver bow? I'm kind of curious here. Oh, you mean like just attacking? Okay. Uh, yeah, oops. like just attacking with silver bow. Yes. Okay, thanks for that. Um, were, were you I mathing? just needed to know. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm going to do some... Yeah, I was going to math for something on my own, but... Uh -huh. Alright, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Not even a challenge. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. So powerful. Time to see what these new muscles can do. <laughs> Strength dex level. It's yeah. Hey. ATA good? I know level, that Lin makes like any good. Level 10 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, when speed takers kind of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. I lost. Your combat skills have grown admirably compared to when we first met. You've grown strong and become a formidable opponent. What the Thank you. It is in no small part because of your guidance, Lucina. Such kind words. If I helped you at all, then I couldn't be happier. There's a lesson there, you know? What one person can achieve on their own is limited. I agree. I couldn't have come this far by myself. Everything I've accomplished has been thanks to those who have fought beside me. I'm relieved to hear that. I feel my friends close by even now. Their spirits live on in me. Their spirits live on? The power of my bonds with them helped us to change a hopeless future. The same as you are now, with your own allies. You're one of those allies, Lucina. Aren't you? Of course. I'll fight with you until the very last. Then we can't lose, no matter what the world sends our way. You're right. Our bonds are far stronger than destiny. Max bond level unlocked. Max bond. Yeah, I'm assuming that's where all the bond level 20s are coming from that I'm hearing everywhere. I was like, I can only get up to 10. What's up with that? I nah, see no, that wait. <laughs> you guys go to 20? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bond easy levels? to intuit. It's also uh, kind of the reason why I wasn't too upset to be delaying a lot of the paralogs because it's like I can barely afford bond level 10 on some of these guys, man. Like, uh, much less 20. Excellent. Well done. Okay, that's fair. Let me pick up the poop here. Bond fragments. Wait, for a moment I thought there was an animal here. I was like, wait, is this a, is this a dog fighting arena? Did it just get what, 80 oh, ingots? What? Was that 18? Did I miss that? Uh, I think that was, that was 180. Damn. Oh, right. I, it's probably because I donated to Brodia. That's all right. All right. Yeah, that we can the check part. the new emblem abilities from this menu if you want. Oh, sure. Uh, rings? Mm -hmm. mm. And if we, like, just pick anyone and try to, like, equip the Lucina ring. Oh, true. We can hit R, I think it is. Or R trigger. Yeah, it's... There's like a list command, I don't know what you mean. Well, I'll just, yeah, find yeah. It. I'll just find it this way. It's like an emblem ring somewhere. Come on. There you go. Found him. Lucina, Lucina. let's go. Mm -hmm. There's uh, like a, if you press he... R trigger, I think it is, or... Uh, there it is. This is the one. Okay, so I got most of these. I got the Parthia because, like I said, I wanted him to be like a ranged support unit, but uh, Tina was like, no, you're fighting me, actually. <laughs> Strong bond. Okay. Well, that's really useful. I hope everyone has that. Um, bow agility, dual support. Prince of bonus to avoid that increase with support level with adjacent allies. Oh, right, that one. 
Bow Agility 4. Parallel Falcon. Good against dragons. Okay. Dexterity. No, I just want to have here. I think this one costs 2,000 SP or something to get through in here. It's like, damn. Yeah. 1,000 is for regular dual assist, I think. And then 2,000 is this. Each me strong one step. This one seems kind of bad, <laughs> to be honest, for the cost. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's okay. I feel like, like I engage once per map or use the little bond pools, the emblem pools. I guess if you, like, if I were to purchase something, I think I would purchase bond level up to, like, 15 or maybe 18 if I really desire dual assist plus, but... Yeah. The, the rest of that, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna earn that on the map, please. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, same. Just... Yeah. <laughs> it's no thanks. I'll just get it. I'll Good just get enough. it the hard way. True. Okay, let me see if there's anything else after this. 260 bond fragments. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. No, that was it. That's all it's it's got. Okay, so I'm assuming all the paralogs are kind of like this, where you either fight the emblem or there's some other kind of trial going on where they're trying mm -hmm. to mix your worthy or something. And then you increase your bond level, and then you get some uh, get some of the normal after chapter bonuses after that. That's fair. I I like Paralogs as extra content. It's nice to have more maps in the game, but part mm -hmm. of me is like, this is really gonna slow down the process, the progress through the story. If there's twelve Paralogs like that, like that's because I already noticed like roughly twenty five chapters or so in the game, and we're a little over halfway through. But now I probably want to play Paralogs every other chapter or so, and that's gonna make the story process even slower than it already was. And I'm already Way behind on the story compared to everyone else, so I have to remain spoilerless for even longer. That's a little intimidating. Ugh, I but, know. So, but it's a lot. It's a lot of maps. There's a lot of good maps, right? I, so. I really can't complain about having more maps to play. I really can't. This is just a, a, a consequence of them doing a good thing. It's a, it's mm -hmm. a it's an unfortunate consequence of them doing a good thing. I think that's how I'm gonna see it, and that's how I see it. But I do want to play and show these paralogs, so I will do it, uh, even if they're really annoying and really bad. Which, well, I don't want to say bad if they're really Annoying and really hard is probably the phrase I want to use here because I know some mm -hmm. of them are. Oh boy! Yeah, I think this was like the easiest one I've done so far by a lot. I've only done a few of them, but this was like the easiest one that I've done. Mm -hmm. But I also waited until like several chapters from now too. So I think. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, this was, was manageable like, because the enemy number was so low. If we face this enemy quality in higher numbers with harder terrain or something, it's going to be a lot mm -hmm. tougher. Do you think we can handle the Ike Paralog with what we have? Um, that one's a bit trickier. I think doing like one more map is going to be handy for that too. Because also like the reason I delayed them was because I just wanted to have emblem rings on those paralogs because playing the game without emblem rings is very fun to me. So I just wanted more emblem rings to have on these maps. And so uh, like I think when I went onto Lucina, I'd done like three more chapters. So I had three more chapters worth of emblem rings and I just like... I kind of pwned the map. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. That, that's what I was afraid of. Or, I don't know, afraid of is kind of like saying, oh, you did it wrong. What I oh. mean is, um, I half want to unlock a paralog as soon as I play it, because that means the game is telling me, like, hey, we think you can handle this right now, probably, because mm -hmm. with what you have. Because the Lucina paralog unlocked before the Lin, and that unlocked the chapter before the Ike one. So I was like, I should probably play this sometime soon. But at the same time, the same goes for story maps. Like, what if the paralogs give me something that makes the story maps easier so it's a little hard for me to find out exactly how the game what in what game what order the game expects me to play these but probably doing one every other is probably going to work out okay so i guess we should probably do a story map for next episode then is what you're saying yeah alternating like one and one is pretty like a, a pretty good pace to be honest maybe at some point you'll have to do like two paralogs but i mean whatever just just do it yeah that, that should be fine all right well, in that case, we'll see you next time for probably another story map. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Thank you. We'll see you next time.